Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim B. Nice and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a fully automatic amethyst shard farm in Minecraft 1.17. So amethyst shards, they're going to be used for a lot of things in Minecraft 1.17. First of all, you're going to need it to craft tinted glass and the spyglass. So if you don't want to use those things in Minecraft 1.17, you are going to need some type of amethyst shard farm and uh, maybe much like mine. So amethyst geodes, this is what I'm in right now, and they spawn between Y70 and bedrock. So whenever you're mining and you find one of these things, you're going to want to take full advantage of it, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial. So let's go. So like I was saying, this is how we are going to harvest all of our shards off of the budding amethyst block. And if I just hit this button right here, as you can see, everything falls to the ground and we're going to have water down here to collect everything and to put it in a chest for us. And so these are the things you're going to need in this chest in order to build the farm. You're going to need five slime blocks, three glass, a piston, a sticky piston, an observer, a button, a chest, a hopper, and water to collect all of our shards. Okay, so now that we have everything we need, first we're going to take a solid block and we're going to put it right there above the amethyst block and then we're going to take our sticky piston put it right there and then we're gonna grab our slime blocks and put them like this you're only gonna put one on this side because this is where we are going to put our observer and then you're gonna take your regular piston and you're gonna put it right here and so what's gonna happen is the contraption will activate and this observer will activate this piston and then break that uh, amethyst shard on the bottom. So then we're going to take our button and we're going to just press it and as you can see all the shards get broken and they fall to the ground. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add the water at the bottom to collect all of our shards for us. But I'm not going to show that to you here. I'm going to show it to you in another geode that I found and I've already got it all set up. So let's head over there now. All right, so we're here at the shard farm. As you can see, we just got the standard uh, collection system down here with water. And you might notice there's more blocks here. And this is because uh, sometimes when this is activated, the items of, or the shards, they get stuck on top of blocks like this. So if you just fill it in, you know, that way they won't get stuck on top of things and despawn. Over here, we just have a chicken uh, timer system. Uh, this is the extent of my redstone knowledge right here. Uh, I'm not very good at this at all, uh, but this guy will lay egg, or wait, is it a girl? Girl chickens lay eggs. <laughs> so th she will lay an egg, it will activate the system, and then the egg will get picked up by this hopper and then chucked into the lava. The reason why we want to do that is that way, you know, if an egg remains there, it won't despawn for like five minutes. So you want to go ahead and make it like that so that way... You know, it's not getting activated every so often. So this one wasn't a very big amethyst geode. It only had five uh, budding amethyst blocks, but that's fine. Um, you know, if you find one, I mean, more than likely there's going to be a whole lot more and there's probably going to be some stuck like that too. So in that case, you're probably going to have to figure out something else, you know, modify your contraption a little bit in order to uh, break more of those shards off. Then as you can see here, we built one of the modules sideways uh, just because it would have, you know, ran into this one and would have broke the system. So uh, you have to keep that stuff in mind when you're building your amethyst shard farm. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for this tutorial today. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please do that before you go. We are at 99 subscribers as I am recording this right now. So if you would subscribe, that would mean the world to me. So, as always, remember, take care and be nice.